guys, it's Karen from Art for Acrylics. How are you? This is video number three tonight. Uh, my hair clip fell out. Um, before I get to doing uh, old school um, flip cup on a 12 by 24, I wanted to um, knock out a functional um, piece of art. Uh, is that what you call it? Functional art? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I had made what I'm about to show you uh, a couple months ago. I got the, these trays at Michael's. Um, they are a two-tier serving tray. Uh, the resin I use, the KS resin, is fine for incidental food use, which means, you know, you wouldn't eat off it like a plate, but you could throw some fruit on there and you'd be fine. So this is what it looks like standing, has little feet at the bottom. This all, these just screw in. They, it just, you unscrew it and then you pour on it. So that's what I did. This one was done with um, the Color Art Pigments because you can see my favorite colors, the gold and the um, orange peel and the, um, what's the other color? I forgot, it'll come to me, ginger peach. Those are my, those colors are my jam. So there's the top, the bottom is more dramatic with the black. Um, and that's what we're gonna pour on tonight. We're gonna do the top and the bottom. And then um, I'll let them hang out and resin them. And uh, I think I'm going to, I won't put them on my website. I will save them for the functional art slash small art um, auction I'll probably have in late November that I mentioned in the previous video so it's a uh, it's late I'm getting tired I can tell I can't talk <laughs> let me get you down okay here's the first tray this is the bottom do the bigger one first uh, same recipe as last video just glue and water 65% glue 35% water and then one-to-one -one ratio and then uh, dribbles of water for consistency. This is my consistency. It, uh, it barely leaves a mound before it disappears. Almost the same colors, very similar. I omitted the, the yellow, I believe. Yeah. So colors are Amsterdam Carmen, nice deep red. This was Montmartre Vermilion, Amsterdam Prussian Blue, and Amsterdam Turquoise Green. I like these colors together. Uh, Amsterdam Titanium White at the bottom of my cup. This is my last cup. So I had to dump my white into here. <laughs> and then after I do this one, I'm gonna uh, pause it and wipe it out and use it again. <laughs> because I have no more. I didn't realize I was that low on cups. Uh, so just thinking, of, oh, I'm gonna use silicone again, which means I'll have to clean these once they're cured using my uh, spot on treadmill silicone. And I'm gonna put uh, looks like three in that one. Three seemed to work well last time, so I'm gonna stick with that. And give these a quick stir. I really don't mix it too much. Kind of just fold it in there. Kind of break up a string. Minimize the chances of a caterpillar. A caterpillar is a string of cells that are connected. It either looks like a caterpillar or a male body part. Sometimes both. Give these a stir. Maybe I'll just go light dark, light dark. So yeah, we'll start with the, I only need about, here's the trick is having enough paint to tilt and make cells, you can't pour anything off. So what you get is what you get. So it's a little bit nerve wracking. Um, I don't bother taping it all up because I don't plan on tilting anything off. So uh, I think I'm gonna use about two thirds of a cup to cover this. 
And I feel like I have too much white in there already. So I'm gonna pour some of that out. Just enough to cover the bottom of the cup. And we'll go with orange. Turquoise green. I kind of feel like that orange will be pretty. So I'm going to skip the white and just do, you see it's about a half a cup right there. Mm. And this will be my last layer. I'm just gonna go for it. Can you guys see? Yeah. That's about two thirds. That looks pretty good. Let's be safe. Hold on a second. I'm gonna grab something right here. So it's a nine ounce cup. I'm just gonna put this on my scale. Or my help if you turn it on. 4.9 ounces. Pretty dang close. All right. Ready? All right, Geronimo. Let's put a little design in there. Little ribbon. Seems like the perfect amount of paint. I'm just going to kind of swirl it a little bit, not all the way to the edge because I do want to torch it, and get some cells. So something like that. Now watch, all the really pretty cells will be on the edges where I have to roll over them. It's like a painting rule. Give those a second. Nothing egregious is jumping out at me. That's good. I'm gonna go right there. A couple white ones, that doesn't bother me. And then we just tilt. And I don't think it really matters. I don't see anything really at all that's uh, offensive. Phew. And what, I'd like some souls right in there though. Hold on, I'm gonna get greedy. There we go. Just a little something right there. And then we're just gonna tilt this. And I'm gonna treat it like, like it's a canvas and not swirl it around. So just touch the edge and I'm gonna bring it back to the middle. I might as well go all the way to the other side. Touch that edge. Good. Bring it back to the middle. Go up this. Can you guys see mine, friend? So there. Touch there, 
I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna go over here to like 11, my 11 o'clock. And then I see I hate that because I don't want it to swirl. So forget that idea. It's better to bring it down to the weight of the paint back to the middle and then change directions. And you won't get that swirl, or at least not as bad. Just touch over here. Good. Bring everything back to the middle. Paint's kind of slowing down. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. It means there's not too, too much on here. The colors are looking great. Like the pops are red. And I'm just going to jiggle my way. The paint's slowing down to the bottom. Over here, touch. Bring it back. See, it's like barely moving. Come on, you can make it to the edge, though. You can do it. You can do it without stretching everything out too much. Touch there. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. So there's the first one. The other thing I do, not that I can do a whole lot about it, is some people swirl the color like all the way up to their edge here. I don't like that. I'd rather have it look flat. So I kind of check to make sure I haven't like swooshed up the sides too much, but it looks pretty, I mean, you can a little bit because when you go to resin it, you're gonna have you know, an eighth of an inch of resin on there and it'll hide that, but you definitely don't wanna swoosh it up um, to, the, to the lip here. Man, I love how neat this is, right? Um, I do see one spot where it needs to touch just a little more, right there, and then bring it back. And ta-da, there's number one. Let me just put them off to the side. And <laughs> I don't have a cup. Okay, I will be right back because now I gotta scrape and clean this cup. <laughs> Hold on. All right, good as new, right? Cleaned it all out. Um, so the bottom portion of this uh, two-tier tray is the circumference is 11 inches on the exterior, and this one is nine inches, edge to edge. So it has, is that a, even an inch? Hold on. Yes, yeah, so this is nine inch edge to edge with a half inch lip, so eight and a half inches, 10 and a half inches on the interior. I know some of you are wondering, well, how did you know how much paint to make or put in the cup? And I don't know how I know. I just eyeball it. I always have. I just like, I have two gifts. I have no other talent other than good parking karma. Like I always find a good parking spot everywhere. Uh, and eyeballing how much paint I need. Doesn't matter what canvas size. Those are like my two gifts to the world. <laughs> so I can't help you there. Um, I know for this one, I'll probably need less paint, obviously. So instead of like two thirds of a cup, um, more like a half a cup or a little less than a half cup. This is a nine ounce cup. So four and a half ounces or four, somewhere between four and four and a half. Um, I'm trying to remember my order. I think I started with green. Um, I don't want too much white, make sure. It looks like a little too much again. I just want enough to skin the bottom. And I lost my stick for this one. 
Hold on a second. I'm going to wipe off this stick because I, I, they've been sitting. The paint has been sitting for a couple minutes, and I don't want caterpillars. And silicone rises fairly quickly. So if your paints are sitting around and you have silicone in them, you're going to want to give them a quick stir. This is late night pouring too, y'all. It's um, 1.48 a.m. <laughs> but it's Friday the 13th. Tomorrow's Saturday. I can sleep in. It's not quite half a cup. I'm gonna go with a little more green. Mm, maybe a shot of red. And that's it. All right. Number two. Don't need gloves or anything. It's amazing. I'm not going to scrape that out because that's plenty of paint. It's the same deal. Let's just spread it out a little bit. Do a little circle. Now, if I thought I had too much paint, now would be the time where I would scrape it. Before I do anything else, I would take my spatula or a palette knife, something thin, like like this and I would I would re, like literally remove it from the edges because you're going to tilt to the edges anyway. So if you need to remove paint, you take it from here, you know, go around your sides and scoop away. So you go, I'm not going to do it cuz I'm good, but I would go scoop away. I would use some sort of cover or a sheet so it didn't drip if you haven't taped like me um and bring it away um until you took off enough paint. But I'm looking pretty good there, I think. So I'm gonna give this a torch. Hopefully it it's, uh, turns into a good sister companion to the other side. I mean the bottom half of it. This is the top half. That looks great. No caterpillars. All right, give this a tilt, same deal. Treat it like a canvas. And all around. So I'm gonna to touch there. I'm gonna come back. I am gonna go over like to my one o'clock and go again and then come back. Bring the paint back to the middle. Come over to three o'clock. Oh, I didn't go far enough, hold on. There we go. I missed a spot here at one o'clock too. Still gonna bring the paint back before we revisit one o'clock. Come back, bring it all back to the middle. It's super thin right here. I'm trying to do between four and six here. Keep it straight. They're gonna be twinsies. They're gonna be really close. I think the orange showed up more 
in the bottom half and the red showed up more on the top. Oh no, there's the orange. Never mind, I take that back. Coming over here to nine o'clock. Touch that side. Don't let it run up to the lip. And all I have to do is wiggle between like four and seven here. You can do it, you can make it. These are going to be super cute um, once they're, uh, uh, see, I'm getting a swirl because I didn't go back to the middle and I needed, I need to come over here and I started to tilt and the whole thing just swirls around the edges and maybe you like that look. I don't like that look at all, like not at all. So straightened it all out paint back in the middle and then down every time. And there we go, and then take it back, straighten everything out. I think I have a little more paint on this one than I did the last one because it's um, flowing a little bit more, but um, Nothing I can do about it. now. These will be covered for several days. I won't even look at them. Um, let me talk, talk about next steps. If Oh, I got these at uh, Michael's, by the way. Um, they, you can, if you get paint on this or decide to sand them, these lines here where it's distressed, they sand off. That all sands off. Like, um, oh, I didn't do it on this one. I think I left them. Oh no, I sanded some off. Like, see, like they did like the burnt, like charred look on here. I didn't like that, so I sanded it right off. And then um, I gave them a good sanding. And I don't think I, I left these natural. I didn't do anything else to them. And then two coats of resin. Ah, uh, like, and that was it. Hopefully that was in frame. <laughs> I guess I'll find out. Uh, let me put them side by side and get you guys down. Take a look at them. Be right back. Okay, here's the first guy. I One thing I'm really happy about is I always like a variety of cell sizes. And this one fits the bill in that regard. Um, I'll show them side by side. Not much of a background to speak of, but when you can't, you know, pour anything off, you're, you know, kind of at the mercy of the lip. But there's that one there, and then the one, so that's the bottom part of it. And then here's the top. This one has a little more of the turquoise green um, showing, but they're, they're complementary enough that they go together. And I do love the orange and green together. It's one of my favorite color combinations. And then there they are side by side. By the time uh, I post this video, they should be dried and I'll be able to assemble it so you can see what it looks like. But um, I'm super happy with how these turned out. Very, very cute, uh, fun and happy colors. Let me uh, flip around. I hope you guys liked all of those. Um, I will definitely uh, be able to show dry results and sneak it into this video, hopefully since this won't be posted for about a week. Until then, you guys, uh, thanks for watching, hanging out with me, you know. Please like, share, subscribe. Please, please check out the description section. That's usually where I write a little paragraph, you know, and tell you what I'm doing and that's where all the links are, you know, to my website and my Amazon shop and all the discount codes and all that good stuff. It's in the description section. Check it out. Anyway, that's it for me. I got to go to bed. Uh, you guys take care and uh, until next time, peace out. Hey guys, I'm back with the dried results of this little two-tier tray. I'm going to assemble it so 
hopefully you'll be able to see me do that. Here's the top part here. Um, it's been dry for a couple days, so I sprayed it. I use um, another product sometimes to uh, give a quick clean. Um, it's by Counterculture DIY. It's called Art Wash. Comes in a little container. You just spray it on, wait 30 to 60 seconds, wipe it off with the paper towel, and it removes silicone. I'll probably wash these with Dawn, just soap um, with warm water and a sponge and um, clean it off again before I resin and seal it. But it did take away a lot of the uh, silicone already. So there's the top part. Really, really quite happy with this one. And then here's the bottom. I already cut out um, my tape with an X-Acto knife. And these just come with three pieces to put them together. So this is the bottom piece. You just stick it in the bottom. Ooh, let's see if I can do this. And then you kind of hold the bottom. And obviously I'll take this apart again. You gotta hold the bottom and do the top at the same time. And screw this in. And I'm having technical difficulties because I'm screwing it in crooked. Start over. <laughs> oh, maybe if I hold the tray at the same time. It's kind of tricky because it's hard to hold the top and the bottom at the same time. There we go. I'll just do the bottom, give it a spin until it catches, tighten it up. Can you see that? Yeah, I wanted my camera on an angle so you can see. And then the top, you just plop that on. Can you see like that? And then let me raise my stand a little bit. And then you take this. Et voila, c'est superb. Ta -da. So that's what it looks like. I really kind of like the wood um, plane on these guys. Let me do this so you can see it better. Sorry for the jiggle. Like that. Um, so I'll probably just put some teak oil to protect the wood when I'm done. Um, after I resin in a couple weeks and that's it fairly simple uh, if you don't find these at Michael's I would probably just do a Google search for two tiered trays and uh, you can make one yourself this will be available at the um, art auction in a few weeks uh, that's it you guys take care see you soon bye